Hey y'all, I'm Alice from Sanctified Tourist. Today I'm walking in a beautiful cemetery on the Natchez River. I'm so glad you could join me. I just got through attending a funeral where there were two caskets at the front of the, the church. A husband and wife both caught this deadly form of the flu and they were gone before you knew before we knew it. Uh, need, needless to say, the, the auditorium was full of grieving, shocked people. But really, isn't that the reaction? Even if you have time to prepare, when death comes, you're shocked. It's so final. But y'all, that's a lie from the enemy. That's why I'm here in this, in this graveyard today because even though death seems final it's not I want to share some exciting news that you might have not thought about before um, do you believe that the afterlife that we're spirits ghostly beings floating around in a boring existence that's the way Hollywood has portrayed it and somehow this theology has even seeped into Christian culture. This, vi this version or this vision of the afterlife is just another lie from the enemy, y'all. The truth is that Jesus rose from the dead, so we can also rise from the dead. What that means for you is that one day, your grave is gonna be cracked open and your corpse brought back to life when Jesus shouts a command, chastising death, kicking it to the curb once and for all, emptying cemeteries everywhere. Here is what 1 Corinthians 15 says that will happen to you, the body that you call you. Our earthly bodies are planted in the ground when we die, but they will be raised to live forever. Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. They're buried in weakness, but they will be raised in strength. They're buried as natural human bodies, but they will be raised as spiritual bodies. For just as there are natural bodies, there are spiritual bodies. And we who are living will also be transformed. See y'all, bodies, not intangible ghosts. Jesus says that in his kingdom, He'll even eat with us. I sure hope somebody needed to hear that today. Well, I blog over at sanctifiedtourist.com. I would love for you to meet me over there. I've written a creative version of the good news, written kind of like a parable. I'd love for you to check it out. And finally, I want to leave you with a charge. May you eat well and exercise both physically and spiritually, so you will be fit to do whatever good God has prepared in advance for you to do. That's Ephesians 2.10. I can't wait to talk to you again. Remember, the tomb is empty. I love y'all. Bye.